Red Magic sent me their latest gaming phone, the 7S Pro. I'm gonna unbox it and test it out and see how it handles the most popular mobile games. I was sent the Obsidian model, which costs $729 US. It has 12 gigabytes of RAM and 256 gigabytes of storage. There's also a 899 model called Supernova. The extra $170 gets you 18 gigabytes of RAM and 512 gigabytes of storage space. The back of that model is also transparent with RGB lights around the cooling fan. This is the box mine arrived in. Let's open it up. Inside we have the protective case. I really like how they include a case with every phone. Saves you the trouble of buying a third party one from Amazon or eBay. There's also a pin in here that's required to install a SIM or SD card. Here's the phone, more on that in a bit. Here is the fast charging adapter and the fast charging USB cable. This phone has a 5,000 milliamp hour battery with 65 watt fast charging. You can fully charge it in about 40 minutes. And here's the Obsidian model of the 7S Pro. It has a 6.8 inch 120 hertz display with the under display camera. So pretty much the entire front of the phone is the screen for gaming. The back of this one isn't transparent. It doesn't have the RGB lights, but it's still very cool. Now you can't see the fan, but there is a cooling fan inside, just like the more expensive Supernova model. And just like other Red Magic phones, this one does have the built-in software that you can flip the switch right here and it really turns the phone into a gaming console. You have all your games, the control center, everything is right here. You have access to all the settings, even in the middle of playing games, there is a sidebar overlay where you can change all the settings that you want. There's a ton of customizations you can do, a ton of built-in functions. One of the main features here is this gaming phone does have those touch trigger buttons on the top. They are of course programmable depending on the game you're playing. You can also connect external controller to this and I connected my Xbox controller and that really gives you the edge with competitive gaming. If you wanna go extra hard, you can connect this phone to your TV using one of these cables that I had lying around. It's a USB-C to HDMI cable and doing this, it kind of turns your phone into a gaming console. I did also try the phone out with a mouse and keyboard, kind of like a gaming PC. Here I connected a wireless Bluetooth mouse and keyboard, set it up while playing some FPS games. The mouse and keyboard does give you a really good edge and I know some of you might call that cheating. You can also connect a wired mouse and keyboard to this using one of these accessories like a portable dock. With its ultra powerful Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 chip, it's a powerhouse. So let's see how it performs with some of the most popular games. Let's first talk about Fortnite Mobile. This phone comes with USB debugging turned on from the factory and Fortnite actually won't let you play any games with that feature on. So you have to go into developer options and turn off USB debugging for Fortnite to work. You can set up the built-in trigger buttons for Fortnite. In terms of settings, Fortnite allows up to 90 FPS in the settings. The quality presets do jump to the lowest though. However, when actually playing the game, it still locks the FPS at 60, even though I've had it set to 90. So in this case, I kind of went ahead and just pushed all the quality presets to the highest settings and locked the FPS to 60. With these high graphics settings, the game does look really good and the frame rate is pretty close to 60 for the most part. There might be some minor drops, but nothing that's concerning. Apex Legends Mobile is up next and that I ran at the highest settings, extreme HD graphics quality and ultra frame rate. Apex looks gorgeous on this phone and performance wise it does hold it really well at 60 FPS. I played a couple of games and was just mowing through enemies with this high performance phone. I think I might have been cheating though because one of the performance features on this phone is the Red Magic app which does have an aim assist button. I'm not sure if that was helping me here because I usually suck at Apex. There is 
Call of Duty Mobile is another game I tried out here that runs at a pretty solid 90 FPS with high graphic settings. And once again, even with this game, I found it to be super easy using this phone. I'm not sure if that's all me or this phone actually improves my performance. Oh, and the built-in trigger buttons were working really well here. Player Unknown's Battleground Mobile is the last game I looked at, and this again performs really well with the graphics maxed out. It delivers a solid 60 FPS. You can use the built-in touch triggers here as well. I'm not a PUBG Mobile player, and I've never really played much of it. In fact, I've probably played less than five matches my entire life. Even still, I found it to be super easy on this phone. I was easily just plowing down enemies from a distance. So there you have it, the Red Magic 7S Pro. Some might say this is the ultimate gaming phone, and I want to thank Red Magic for sending me this review copy. If you want to pick one up for yourself, there are links in the description below.